Fresh, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 9 a.m. Grammy and Grampy are on their way. Here's Boo, he's hanging out in the hallway. The cats still have to eat their breakfast. Stella's hanging out here by this crunchy puzzle. None of the cats have really figured it out yet. Like, Boo figured it out for like two minutes yesterday, but they haven't gone back and got any more. Their crunchy plates are still here. I have to pick up their crunchy plates from last night. Good morning, Simba. So Simba and Boo got into a pretty bad fight last night. Like, Simba was screaming and Boo was attacking him, or maybe Boo was trying to play. I don't know. It looked like Boo was attacking him. And Simba had his ears back and his tail was all puffy. And, um, you know, he rolled onto his back to kind of get into a submissive pose so Boo would not attack him anymore. But I had to step in and stop that. So, so then Simba... Um, so then Simba spent some time hiding, but then he came out. You want to cut him? No, he's gonna bite me. Simba has two balls in his mouth at the same time. Oh my God, he's growling. Oh my God, he's hissing at it. Where's the camera? Oh my, you should hear him. He's snorting and hissing. He has two of them in his mouth. No, one's on the ground. No, they're both in his mouth. He shoves the red one like way in his mouth so he can fit the blue so one too. Blue one in front of his mouth. Yeah, but the red one's inside. Yeah, better watch you don't swallow. Maybe he's gonna swallow it. Yeah. Get it. Give me one of those, Simba. You're making weird noises. Give me one. That's it. You can only have one. You're not putting two of these in your mouth at the same time. That's not happening.
It's 7.37 p.m. and look at what's going on here. Splash is all stretched down on the stairs. I've never seen him do this before. Usually this is what Simba does. But he's just all stretched out. And Stella's still downstairs eating dinner. All the other cats are done with their food and she's still eating. She's eating whatever's left from everyone else. It's 7.53 p.m. and Splash is still on the stairs. And Boo is on top of the stairs. And uh, the two of them are just staring at each other. And then, of course, the minute I get the camera, then they move. Good morning, Stella. How are you today? Good morning, Simba. How are you today, Simba? It is 8.22 a.m. Good morning, Boo. How are you today, Boo? It is 8.44 a.m. and I've been outside twice this morning and Hydrox is uh, laying under the car in the shade. And I wanted to make an observation. So what I've noticed is that since I refilled the automatic feeder with dry cat food, Hydrox has been coming to the back door less than he does when there's no food in the automatic feeder. Now that, that makes complete and perfect sense but he is not going to get the same health benefits eating dry food out of an automatic feeder that he would coming to the back door getting raw food with herbs and vitamins and stuff like that. So I'm not going to go out there and empty the automatic feeder. Um, it's kind of like a catch-22 because I believe Ditto comes by and eats out of the automatic feeder. I have to check the security camera and see who actually has been eating out of the automatic feeder. So um, I just wanted to document that observation. Splash, are you hungry? Are you hungry, Splash? You want to eat some food? Splash, you want to eat some food? Is it time for dinner? Splash, is it time for dinner? It's 9.45 p.m. I just walked into the room and saw this. So Stella and Simba are sitting on scratch and rolls and Splash was sitting next to them. And they're all watching Boo. Boo's been eating some crunchies out of this puzzle feeder. I set it up for him so there was that one open compartment and they're all watching him. It's about 12.30 a.m. right now and I just looked outside. I actually came to see Stella. She's laying by the window and I looked outside and there was a deer right outside the window. Right outside the window. It was so close to Stella she was looking at it. So it's a deer and two babies. Right now it is 10.52 p.m. and it's crunchy time for the cats. I don't think I filmed anything today. It has just been a really crazy day. And let me show you what's going on here. So there's Boo's crunchy plate, that one. And there's Simba's crunchy plate, the blue one next to him with the car, with the truck on it. And there's Splashes, the one with the watermelon. Where's Stella's plate? Stella, where's your crunchy plate? You want crunchy, Stella? Where's your crunchy plate? Okay. Okay, boo. There it is! There's your crunchy plate. Stella was sitting on it. I don't know why Stella does that, but that's her new thing. She always sits on the, the crunchy plate. There you go, Simba. There you go, Splash. Good morning, Stella. How are you today? 
Here's Simba. Let me tell you what just happened. So I was in my room getting ready for my day and you know Boo's hanging out near the uh, open window on top of the cat tower and Simba comes running into the room jumps up on the bed and I was like hey Simba what are you doing I thought he wanted to play so he started playing with them then he tells me he wants to be near an open window like Boo and that this window in this room is not open and could I open it for him so I came into this room and I opened the window and as soon as he heard me open this window he jumped off the bed came running down the hall ran into this room ran on top of the cat tower and now he is so happy here right now so always listen to your cats and when I say listen to them I don't mean just listen to them meow with your ears listen to their thoughts with your inner ears and I don't even think it's your mind that hears it because it's more like it's more like feeling it because I felt it like because I think that is where it's resonating so when Simba jumped on the bed and he was like well you need to open the other window in the other room I felt that more than heard it if that makes any sense. I know for some people that will make absolutely no sense and they'll be like, you're freaking crazy. But for other people that will make sense. It is 8.32 a.m. and Boo is finishing up his breakfast here on the play rug in the living room. And here's Stella, she's been watching him the whole time. She's just waiting for him to walk away from his plate. Here's Simba. Simba gets annoyed by this. Boo has all the toys now. He likes to hold on to them. Look at all that dust flying around. So much dust flying around, boo. So this morning, Simba and Boo were playing. So what happened was Simba was on top of the cat tower and Boo was laying where Simba is now. And they were staring at each other, but not in like a bad way. Um, it was like they wanted to play with each other. And then Simba jumped off the cat tower and Boo jumped off the bed and they both ran around the house together, tails in the air, like ears not back. So I thought that was really good because they were playing with each other. If if it was aggressive, then Boo's tail would not have been straight up in the air and his ears would have been more back. So I thought that was good. They're trying to be friends, right Simba? You want to be friends with Boo, but sometimes he gets a little rough, right?
I'm sitting here trying to get work done. This table is my desk. And uh, Stella is sitting on the same chair as me. She just, she jumps onto the chair and she just makes herself comfortable next to me. But she's been purring. So I thought you might like to hear it. Simba found his red ball under the sofa. It looks a little bit dusty, Simba.
be good. Be good. Boo. Be the good. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 8.45 a.m. I just looked out the window and saw this. So this is the automatic feeder um, that has been secured in a blue tub in the doghouse enclosure. And I took it out the other day to try to fix it. And it was unfixable, so I left it on top of the patio table. And it looks like overnight, possibly raccoons were trying to get into it and they knocked it off the table and um, they separated the two pieces of it and there's Hydrox. Hydrox is hanging out on a patio chair. He has not been hanging out on a patio chair in a while so he's back. It has been raining out so maybe it's dry there for him. And this is what Simba does every day. He hunts for stuff underneath the refrigerator. I don't know what he's hunting for because there's nothing under there. I have like a, a yardstick that I poke under there to see what's going on and nothing comes out. And there is now a dent on this refrigerator. Can you see the dent? And I, I blame Simba for that dent because, because I can't think of any other cause for that dent. It's in such a location that it's not gonna be hit by someone's foot or someone's knee. Um, nobody has hit the refrigerator with anything, so I think Simba did it. I think Simba did it while he's been trying to hunt stuff. It is 9.29 a.m. I'm sitting here in my bed using my tablet, and here's Simba, but two minutes ago, I was certain that I saw Simba walk into the room and go under the bed, and I said, out loud to Simba, what are you doing under there, Simba? Are you looking for something under there? Because I thought he was going down there to look for the little red ball. But then my phone rang and my phone was in another room. So I got up to walk into the other room and Simba was in the hallway. At which point I said, okay, well, that was really weird. Maybe it was one of the other cats, although it looked like Simba. And Stella's in the other room, Splash is in the other room and Boo's on top of the cat tower. So, I don't know who I just saw, but here's Simba. Now Simba's looking under the bed also. I'm sitting here playing with Boo, and Simba just sat down next to him because Simba wants to play. He wants to play with Boo. Is Boo gonna share? Boo you gonna share with Simba? Stella's on the other scratch and roll. She was just hitting Simba's tail. That's why Simba moved away. And here's Splash. Hello, Stella. Last night, the cats were going crazy over this toy under the scratch and roll, like this. Like, Boo is going crazy over it. Right now, Stella, Stella is not really responding. They have not eaten their breakfast yet, so that's probably why. Okay, here's Boo, let's see if he does it.
Look what we have here. Stella and Boo sitting next to each other in the scratch and roll. Simma's looking out the windows now. Boo, look how pretty you look. You look so pretty, Boo. Boo says he's handsome. It is 10.36 a.m. And I just gave Hydrox some food. He was meowing for some food. Um, there's no food in the feeder outside because there's no feeder outside right now. Um, so he'll come back and he'll eat it. This is the bowl from the automatic feeder. I just put some dry food in it. Now I'm putting it out here for Hydrox, so we'll see if he eats it. For breakfast today, the cats are having two cans of wholehearted cat food. These are the large cans, and this is the tuna recipe. This is the minced tuna. I don't know why Boo's not eating it. Probably because I went outside to see Hydrox, so I'm going to move his food over for him. See? When I went outside, Boo went up the stairs to look out the door to see what I was doing. Then I came back inside, and now he's eating here on the steps. It is 8.45 p.m., and here's Hydrox. I just came back from a bike ride, and he was hanging out on the back steps near the back door. So I went inside, and I put some food together for him, so he does have some food to eat, if he wants to eat it. I don't know if he ate already. And I also wanted to say that I saw Ditto, so when I was riding my bike, Ditto was laying happily on one of the neighbor's walkways. And I'm definitely sure it was Ditto. I looked right at him. I was like, hey, Ditto, what are you doing? And he looked at me, and he was just really happy, just hanging out. I think he was getting a little bit of a breeze. So I just wanted to update you on Ditto. Ditto's doing fine, and here's Hydrox. And he's looking a little scraggly because it was raining earlier today and it's hot in the summer heat and he's been laying in the dirt. Because you know when he lays in the dirt, it's a lot cooler. It's about 11.30 p.m. I'm just about to go to bed. And Simba was crying. So I gave him a new little pom-pom to play with. This is a little blue one. So they come in a pack of three with a slingshot and he has the red one. And I was holding on to the blue one and the yellow one. <laughs> I just gave him the blue one and he just took it with him.
It is 10 a.m. I just looked outside and look who it is. It's Ditto. And there's Hydrox. Hydrox just started meowing at Ditto. I guess Hydrox didn't see Ditto. Ditto looks very good. Here's Hydrox, here's Ditto. I'm gonna go get some food for Ditto. I'm downstairs with the cats and I have this package of pom-poms that I found in my cat toy stash. I have a plastic storage container full of cat toys. And this was given to the cats as a present. Be good. Be good. Boo. Be the good. Be the good boo. Be the good boo. And since Simba is so in love with his little pom-poms, I figured, let me look through my toy stash and see what kind of pom-poms I have. So this is what I found. And they're bigger than the pom-poms that he's been chasing around the house that come with the slingshots. So we'll see how the cats like these. And these are all the way from Germany, I believe. They seem to have the same texture as Simba's little pom-poms. Is he going to like them? Are they going to be interested? You guys want a pom-pom? You want a pom-pom? I don't know what he's looking at. Oh, I see a splash. Okay. Stella, there's a pom-pom. Boo, there's a pom-pom. Simba's looking for his pom-pom. He already lost it under the little, the little bed. Where's your pom-pom? Where did it go? Simba, where's your pom-pom? You want Stella's? Here. Oh, no, you got it. Well, so far, he's not growling at it. He's purring. We'll see how Simba likes his new pom-pom. I will report back later. Meanwhile, here's Stella and her pom-pom. And here's Boo and his pom-pom. Boo, you wanna play with the pom-pom? Want the pom-pom? Okay, maybe they're not in the mood to play. Boo, 
Boo got all the pom poms. Look at Boo. Boo got all the pom poms. Boo, you got all the pom poms except for Splash. How'd you get all the pom poms, Boo? Boo got all the pom poms. Look at Boo. Boo got all the pom poms. Now Boo really has all the pom poms. Boo, you got all the pom poms? Boo got all the pom poms. It's about 10 minutes later. I just looked downstairs and saw this. So it ends up that Simba is enjoying his pom pom. And these are bigger than the other ones, so hopefully they will be harder for him to lose under things. Oh no, did he put it in the water? The question is, can he carry these around in his mouth? I would think he could, because they're soft. Are you gonna grab another one? I bought this package of 12 combs from the Dollar Tree because when I bought the little flea combs that I got at PetSmart that cats absolutely loved being combed with them so I thought maybe they just like being combed so I'm gonna open up this package and let's see what's in it Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo The Lucky Ferals We have all different size combs, and here's Boo, he's very interested in them. And I'm sure I'll be able to find something that the cats like. I might start with the red one in the middle and see how that one goes. Boo, would you like to be combed? Would you like me to comb you? It feels a little bit flimsy, like this is a really flimsy one. These are actually all really flimsy combs. You want to bite it? You want to bite the comb instead? You don't want to bite it. You don't want to bite it. I'm going to use this one. <laughs> Boo said, stay away. That's my comb. You want a comb, Simba? Simba says he wants to be combed. Okay, let me get, let me see the red one. Let's see how the red one does on Simba. Switch hands. He's purring. Okay, this comb is not really working very well, Simba, because it's very flimsy. It's very flimsy. But it is getting, it's getting some hair off of you. But he needs to be brushed. What about you, Stella? Would you like to be combed? Stella says she doesn't want to be combed. Let's try Boo again. Boo says, you want a black brush for your black fur? You just want to chew on it. My stomach is growling.
It's a chew toy. Think it's a chew toy, boo? You'd rather have it as a toy? You really want to chew on that? Somebody want to chew on this one? Somebody says, no, he don't want to chew on it. You want to chew on this one, boo? The boo... The blue looks nice, Boo. It almost matches the reflections on your fur. He seems to like this one. No? Yes? Yes? No? No. Who says no? Let's try the yellow one. You want the yellow one? You want the yellow one? Boo, Boo is undecided as to whether he likes it or not. Part of him is mad, but part of him likes it. Simba likes it, but I need to get the brush because there's too much fur going to be coming off of him. They're still in splash. They all say, stop with the combs and feed us breakfast. Okay, let's try from this side. The scratch and rolls are turning into like salon chairs for the cats. So Boo does that when I brush him, because he gets like all excited. So he uh, he scratches his nails on something, and he usually rubs up against a uh, like an arch. But his his um his fur is so soft right now. Okay, Boo, you handsome. And here's Stella. Stella, are you ready for your salon treatment? So they actually like being combed as long as I'm doing it from behind them. Right, Stella? Good girl. Look at these two. Okay, Simba. I comb you. You gonna sit down? Okay, you sit down too. Well, you want me to comb your belly? Okay, I'll comb your belly. Combing Simba's belly.
You getting too excited, Simba? Okay. He says he's sorry. He was getting too excited. This is the new Pet Safe Healthy Pet Simply Feed Automatic Pet Feeder that I purchased from Amazon. Uh, it was $99.95, I think, like around there. It was just about $100, which is cheaper than what I originally paid for it four years ago. So this is the second one that I've purchased. Um, and let me show you the first one. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. This is the first automatic feeder that I bought in September of 2016 for Stella, Splash, Simba, and Boo when they were living outside. And I was going away for a few weeks and I figured, well, this could feed them twice a day while I was away. And I think Grandma and Grandpa came over a few times to make sure um, it was filled up and there's plenty of food and everything. So this has been running non-stop since then. It will be four years next month. So it's been running for nearly four years non-stop, no problems until recently. And I've only changed the batteries in it once. So I think that's really, really good. Um, I paid $129 for it four years ago. So the price has actually come down about $30. So if we take $129 plus tax and we do the math, it ends up being about $35 a year uh, for the feeder, which isn't bad. That's about $3 a month for an automatic feeder to feed the cats. It would be nice if it lasted longer than it did, but I'm happy with the amount of service that I got out of it. And I would definitely recommend the same unit for anyone looking for an automatic feeder. So here's my new one in the box, and here's the old one that's like a mess right now. So I'm really looking forward to getting the new one set up and putting it in the housing that I have for it and then putting it to work. Here's what it looks like in the box. For some reason, this box was really hard to open. I had to get a box cutter and cut all around the edges. So it looks like it's pretty much fully assembled. And there we have it. It comes out in one big piece. And there they are next to each other. The old one and the new one. The new one is so nice and clean. It also comes with an operating guide and an icon quick guide. And I will be using these because I forget how to um, initially set it up and set the time and everything. So let's see what we have inside. Here's the bowl. It comes with the stainless steel bowl and then it has this outer ring that attaches to the unit. Then here's the unit itself and the top hopper part comes out and we can see the conveyor belt inside. And that is securely in place so it looks like this is good to go. Let's. Let's take a look at this versus the old one. This is the difference between the new one and the old one. The new one's on the left, the old one's on the right. Um, the color of the conveyor belt is completely different. I don't know if that is how the plastic has aged over four years or if the conveyor belt was originally a different color. Um, but that's the only difference I notice. Everything else looks exactly the same. The battery compartments are located on the bottom and the batteries in the old one are fairly new. When I was trying to fix it, it said that the battery level was completely full. So I'm just gonna take the batteries out, uh, wipe them off a little bit and put them in the new one. Let's program this for initial use. So I've washed out the stainless steel bowl and I've also removed this part and I've washed this. And now we're going to program the unit. Okay, so we're gonna set the time. It says after powering feeder, the LCD will show a blinking 12 for time format setup. Use up or down buttons to scroll to select 12 hour or 24 hour format. Press right button to set time. Okay, so we want 12 hour, we'll press the right button. Now I'm gonna use the up or down buttons to scroll through the time. 
Right now it's on AM. Now it's on PM and I want PM. I'm not sure what time it is, so I'm gonna run inside and look at the time. It is exactly 5 p.m., which is pretty scary because I don't know where this day went. Okay, so I'm using up or down arrows. Got that set. I'm gonna use a right arrow to advance. It says dog, it's blinking dog. I don't want dog. User, cat, dog. I want user because I am going to custom set what I want it to feed. And now, right now, this number one is blinking and that is the first feeding. So I'm gonna hit the right arrow and then this will be the time. So we'll have this go off at 7 a.m., which is what it is at. And then I don't wanna do two cups. I'm gonna take this down to, I think I had it at 5 eighths of a cup. Um, I hit the right arrow. Now I'm up at number one, I'm gonna change that to number two with the up arrow. Now I'm on number two, and the next feeding is set for 5 p.m. Um, I think I'm gonna change that to 6 p.m. Because it's not getting dark right now until like after eight. So I think that's better for the cats. Um, and again, it's two cups, so I'm gonna take that down to, I think it was 5 eighths of a cup. A little more than half of a cup. It's summertime, um, so they don't eat much because they do a lot of hunting also. And that's it. And I believe I just press this middle button and I hold it down. And there we go. Now it's set. And the next feeding will be at 6 p.m. It'll be 5 eighths of a cup. So during the winter, I do increase that. Um, I think I use a cup. I think last year I did a cup in the morning and a cup in the evening. And um, I like to do it after the sun comes up in the morning and before the sun goes down at night. So as the length of the days change, I will reprogram this to reflect that. So as we get into the winter months, um, it will feed them earlier. It'll feed like 4 p.m. instead of 6 p.m. And I'll probably adjust the morning feeding accordingly also, although that one doesn't change as much. Um, so that's that. This is ready to go. All I need to do is fill it up with food and then put it in the housing that I have for it and then attach the stainless steel bowl. Get my binder clips to hold the bowl on so the raccoons don't walk off with the bowl, which is what they will do. And then I'm good to go. If you have not seen any of the previous feeder setup videos on this channel, um, I keep it in this doghouse, which has been converted for the purpose of housing and automatic feeder for the feral cats. And the top is removable. I got this doghouse on clearance at the Christmas tree shop. It was like $49, which is a great deal. And the top is supposed to be attached to the to the walls, but I wanted it so that it was removable. So we uh, put a framework underneath the roof and we made it so that it can just be pulled off the top. So there's the roof, that is how it comes off. And then this is what is under it. So it is a piece of insulation. I don't know if you can see that. It's the shiny piece, that's the insulation, a piece of plywood, and then a large brick on top. So if the raccoons get in and try to uh, get into the feeder, it stops them from kind of pushing their way in from the top. And then this is how it's set up below that. So there is this big blue tub. It's like a recycled tub, I got it at Lowe's. I think it was like $10 or $8 or something. And there's a bunch of bricks in it because this is where the feeder fits. Feeder fits in here and the bricks are on the side um, to hold everything down and also um, so the raccoons can't move anything around. And there's an opening here and that is where the bowl will be attached. The bowl will be attached from the other side. It'll click up and in and uh, be held in place. And that's how it fits in there. 
and some people get worried that the cats don't have any food because the raccoons will eat all the food and the reason why it's set up this way is so that the raccoons don't get to the food so this dispenses breakfast for the cats and it also dispenses dinner for the cats and the only thing that the raccoons can get to is anything that's left over from dinner. Raccoons usually come around in the evening at night once it gets dark and all the food inside of this feeder is protected except for what has been dispensed into the bowl. And sometimes the raccoons can put their paws up into this feeder to like the conveyor belt area and uh, get a little bit of what's there. But so far, uh, that's, that's all that they've gotten. They haven't gotten anything more than that. And this is the old bowl from the old feeder. It's really well worn at this point. It gets washed about once a month. When I'm out here scrubbing out litter boxes, I'll also wash this out. And it's held onto the plastic frame with all these binder clips and that so the raccoons don't remove the bowl, which they will. And uh, you know, it just stays there, which is what we want. And this is what it looks like with the bowl attached and all the binder clips on. So, so I'm going to put the roof back on this and we should be good to go. Hello, ditto. Ditto is so skinny right now, it's kind of scary. I mean, he looks good, but he's just so thin. There you go, Ditto, eat some food. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. I just gave Ditto a whole bunch of food. This is the Felix food that Maria sent from Germany. Ditto likes it, so I kind of save it for him. Hopefully he'll eat all of this. I mean, Ditto looks good. I mean, his fur looks pretty good. Looks like he has been doing some over-grooming in some spots, but, you know, he's outside in the summer and that happens. But hopefully he'll just eat more.
This video is a very interesting observation of cat behavior and illustrates the fact that cats are definitely capable of logical thought. So I put the touch feeder that dispenses dry food on the floor. Stella loves to use this dispenser and is the best at getting the dry food out of it. I refer to dry food as crunchies. So Stella was happily using the feeder and dispensing crunchies, which she was eating, when Boo came by and bopped her on the head and stole her crunchies. Obviously, she wasn't happy about that, so she moved to the other side of the feeder and away from Boo. Then she decided to show Boo how to get some crunchies out and let him eat them. And she tried to teach him how to get the crunchies out so they could share what came out. But Boo did not want to share. He just wanted to eat all of the crunchies himself. So when Stella realized that, she consciously decided that there was no reason to teach him how to use the feeder or to dispense any more food for him. So she just stopped and she sat there and she eventually walked away. So if anyone tells you that cats are not capable of thinking or they're not capable of logical thought, this is a really great example that they are. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Who just walked over and bopped Stella on the head for the crunchies.
Who, you want some more? Want some more catnip? You want some more catnip? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Right now it's about 7.30 p.m. and we are on a tropical storm watch. So I think tomorrow morning we're supposed to get hit pretty bad with high winds, heavy rain, all that stuff. That's the forecast at least. So I'm happy that Ditto ate a good amount of food. It is 7.50 p.m. and there's Ditto. He's been eating a very large portion of food. And I just filmed a mukbang with him. And then, for some reason, he walked away from the plate. I went outside and I got the camera. And he was meowing a little bit, so... I thought he wanted more food, but the minute I came in, he went back over to the plate to eat more, so... I'm just gonna hang out inside and feed the inside cat, then I'll see if he's done. I just gave Ditto half of a can of the wholehearted chicken and veggies. It's flaked. Boo does not really like it. Um, so I had half of a can in the fridge and I added a whole bunch of water to it and I just gave it to Ditto and Ditto is very happily drinking all the broth because it's been so hot and humid out. So it's really good that he's getting plenty of liquids even though there is water out here. So today I cleaned out this big water dispenser and filled it up with fresh water and I did the same for this big water bowl. For some reason this year all the water out here is just growing so much algae. It is 9.51 a.m. and we were supposed to be getting a tropical storm today and we are under a tornado watch until 4 p.m. I think it's a tornado watch. It's the one um, that's not as bad as the other one. I think the watch is not as bad as the warning. And the automatic feeder went off this morning and one of the cats ate a lot of food so I'm assuming it was Hydrox, if not it was Ditto. I also gave Hydrox some canned food he ate a part of the canned food, the rest is still sitting here. Uh, it's been kind of wet and rainy all morning, so that's why Hydrox looks like he's been out in the rain. Um, there's a few more hours before the storm gets here, so hopefully Hydrox will use one of the shelters. Let's hope. We're supposed to get a lot of rain and a lot of strong winds and thunder and lightning. For breakfast today, the cats are having homemade raw food with a few dried minnows on top and then some freeze-dried rabbit sprinkled on top and I was so proud of Boo because he was eating his food without any crunchies. Nobody's getting any crunchies right now on their food so maybe Boo just wants to eat on the steps. He's eating his food with no crunchies. I'm really hoping I could use more freeze-dried food in place of crunchies just been reading a lot of articles about crunchies and I would like to cut the cats back from the amount of crunchies that they've been eating. Even though they only get them as like toppings on their food and they get two tablespoons at night, it would be nice to replace those with freeze dried foods or something a bit healthier. So this is what, this is what Splash does. He gobbles his food really fast, then he wants to run upstairs. I just shut the door to upstairs because we are under a tornado watch until about 4 p.m. And my plan was to make sure that the cats stay downstairs all day. So we'll see what happens. I hear Ditto outside. I hear him meowing. He sounds a lot like Boo. And if there's any problems today, it's going to be Boo wanted to go upstairs. I still have to get all my stuff um, from upstairs, like my work supplies, and bring them downstairs. I haven't done that yet. But... There's really no other way to keep the cats down here than to shut the door while they're eating. So there's Ditto, and Hydrox is now eating his food. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go downstairs and get some more food for Ditto. I want them to have a good solid meal before the storm hits. Good job, Stella, you ate all of your breakfast. Stella usually leaves the dried fish. She doesn't like them that much. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, we're staying downstairs today, okay? Here's Boo. He already wants to go upstairs. If I go upstairs, he's going to want to follow me, so i got to figure out how I'm going to do this. Here's Ditto. Ditto's eating a big plate of food. I put it under the feeding table in case it starts raining. Hydrox finished his plate of food.
It is 10.48 a.m. and I'm trying to get myself set up here downstairs and the cats are all kind of a bit ill at ease right now. Simba's been growling at his pom-pom and he actually had two pom-poms in his mouth. So he had the uh, small one and the big one in his mouth at the same time. And Boo is standing at the top of the stairs so I'm trying to get him to relax and come down here. I'm basically just trying to get all the cats to relax. So I just opened this bag of Jackson Galaxy Organic Catnip. This bag is probably two years old, if not three years old. I've had it forever. And uh, the cats are enjoying it now. Who, you want some more? Want some more catnip? You want some more catnip? Here's Splash in a hiding spot. I just gave him some catnip, but Simba's eating it. Here's Stella. She's under a chair. I just gave her some catnip too. So the goal is they eat the catnip now, they have some fun now, and then it chills them out and they end up sleeping through most of the storm, hopefully. Right now it's about 1 p.m. and I'm downstairs with the cats and they were all taking a nice nap but I just went outside because I heard like a really strange noise. I had no idea what it was. It was like a long, prolonged motor noise. I'm like, what is going on? So I came upstairs to look for it and it's not, no and it's nothing in the house. So I went outside and I thought maybe it was like a transformer about to blow or something, but I didn't see anything. Um, and then I was watching the live stream and the camera was moving. So I just put three bricks on it, so hopefully the bricks will hold the camera down. The camera is bolted to a wooden crate, so I thought that would be heavy enough, but I guess not. So um, anyway, moving up and down the stairs caused the cats to wake up, and I was just about to go outside and film some stuff, so. So this is what's going on outside. I mean, there's a lot of leaves everywhere. I'm sure it's gonna get worse than it is now because this has really just started and um, every now and then the winds pick up but it smells like fall you know the smell like when leaves start falling that's what it smells like it smells like fall to me look at all this if only small branches come down then I'm good I just hope no large branches come down all these branches are hanging right over the house so hopefully they stay on the trees Whoa. It's about 3.30 p.m. and I just came outside to survey the damages and thankfully there haven't been too many damages, just a whole lot of uh, leaves off the trees and some branches that are down. There's some leaves in the water bowl.
in the shelter to not get blown away. There's a larger branch that came down. There's another large branch. And a large branch here. So these used to be hostas and it seems that the deer have eaten them. And these were some hostas and looks like the deer ate those also. It's 8.05 p.m. and here's Ditto. He came by for some food and he looks like completely dry so he was sheltering someplace really good because we know Ditto is a very smart cat so he found a really nice dry and clean shelter. And then here's Hydrox. Hydrox's white fur is all now brown. So I don't know where he's been, but he's a bit of a mess. He definitely has been out in more rain than Ditto has. So it looks like the wind has done a lot of the sweeping for me. I just have to kind of grab these piles and dispose of them. It looks like um, once everything started drying out, the wind just started blowing everything around. It's 7 a.m. and Simba and Boo have been having some playtime together on the bed. So far it's been going really well, but I'm just kind of anticipating boobopping Simba. They're both holding on to the cat charmer. Who likes to catch this toy and then try to pluck its feathers? Simba and Boo are such good boys today. They are playing so nicely together. It's about 9.30 a.m. right now and I've been on a bike ride and I was just riding past my house and I saw this. So this is like a massive branch. It is hanging on the wires that attach to my house. I don't know if these are electric wires or cable wires or phone wires or what. But do you see how lucky I was in this storm? Because nothing went out. My electric did not go out. My cable didn't go out. Uh, my phone did not go out. Nothing went out. 
but yet this massive branch is just hanging on the wires. Like it did not pull the wires down. That's crazy. It's about 7.30 p.m. right now. And I just gave Ditto a can of tuna. Very happy that Ditto's been coming by for food the past several days because he definitely could gain some weight. He's very, very thin. But other than being thin, he does look healthy. Like he does not appear to be sickly. He has a really good energy level. Okay, so right now he's sneezing. Here's Hydrox. Hydrox just showed up because when I went outside to give Ditto food, Hydrox was not around. And it does look like Hydrox's fur is growing back. So that's good. And I'm going to go give Hydrox some food. I just gave Hydrox some food. So this is some homemade raw food. And then there's a whole bunch of herbs and supplements mixed in. Uh, Ditto did not finish the tuna that I gave him. I don't care who eats what. It's just I hope they both finished whatever's on both plates. You're a lucky boy, boo. You're a lucky boy, boo. You're so lucky to be inside and not having to be outside like the other cats are. Would you be happy outside with Hydrox and Ditto? Let's try to teach Ditto how to play. So someone was walking down the street and they scared him. I just cut the bell off of this bird toy, so it should be better. It's 9.38 p.m. and I just looked out the back door and Hydrox is curled up and sleeping on the back step. See him? He just woke up because he heard me talking. Hadrox likes it here on the steps. He feels safe here. It's also a raised platform, so he gets a better view of things up high. Someone came by and ate the cat food that's on the plate. Actually, they ate the raw food on the plate. There's still the tuna on the plate. Okay, Hadrox, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It is 9.15 a.m. And I was just outside about five minutes ago. And I refilled the big stainless steel water bowl because I think the... Um, I think the raccoons emptied it last night. I heard a lot of 
like animal activity outside and at one point I looked outside and it was the mother raccoon with the two babies. Um, then I heard like metal clanging so I, I was pretty sure it was the water bowl and sure enough it was. So I refilled it today. And as I did that, I noticed that Hydrax was sleeping on one of the patio chairs and Ditto was all curled up on the side of the house. It's nice and cool out today. It's like 68 degrees, 70 degrees right now. So this is the first like cool morning, cool overnight that we've had. It's been super uh, warm. And I'm just about to bring them both some food. So they're going to split a can of the four health um, turkey and giblets and if they eat that then I'll give them more there's plenty of dry food in the feeder so um, so that's good and I'm 100% positive Ditto is a boy 100% and with Hydrox I just saw his backside and I mean Hydrox looks like a girl Hydrox's backside looks like a girl to me so um yeah that would that would be really interesting so i'm gonna feed them so they're both eating their food and with these two it's a lot about positioning like hydrox that was originally ditto's plate and then hydrox took it and then i put this down for ditto and then he'll eat it here Hello, Ditto. How are you? You gotta eat some food, Ditto, okay? Eat your food, Ditto. I don't know if that's thunder I hear or a plane. Might be a plane. Eat your food, Ditto, okay? Ditto, eat your food. There's dry food in the feeder. You could eat that too, okay? Okay. You okay? Give me a pet. Give me a pet. So I'm not going to pet Ditto from the front because, you know, with the feral cat. You gotta be careful, they will swat at you. He does appear to want to be friendly because he's rubbing up on everything. And he's letting me close to him. His tail is in the air. His ears are not back. He seems curious, but again, I don't want to push myself on him. Okay, ditto. Okay, Ditto. Can I have a pet? Remember, feral cats, a lot of them don't even know what petting is because they've never been pet before. But the fact that he's rolling around like that is a really good sign. That's what Boo used to do. That's what Stella used to do. It means that they trust you and they like you. Hydrox ate a good amount of his food. I was sitting at the table getting some work done and I kept hearing like a cat. You know like when a cat is sleeping and dreaming and they make like little noises? That's what I kept hearing. I'm like, where's it coming from? This is where it's coming from. Look, Simba's sleeping in this tent bed. He's so cute. He's so comfy in there. Yeah, the boo is hanging out on the bed. How you doing, boo? You comfy? Boo says he's taking a nice nap. It is 1.44 p.m. And Hydrox and Ditto are having lunch today. So what happened was I went outside to clear some stuff off the lawn in the front of the house. And I saw Ditto hanging out by the side of the house again. He has a new spot that he likes to lay over there. So I was talking to him and then I was like, Ditto, you want some treats? I thought I'd give him some dried sardines. Uh, so he came onto the patio and I gave him some dried sardines, but he didn't want any. I guess he doesn't know what they are. And then Hydrox showed up and the two of them were meowing at each other. So I was like, okay guys, you want lunch? So I have 
so I am going to sit here for a little while and catch up with some reading and we'll see what Ditto does. Is, did, is Ditto just gonna hang out here? And there's Hydrox. Hydrox's fur looks much better. Like it's definitely been growing in. Hello, Ditto. Look what's going on here. He just did that on the grass, like on the grass. Like, how are you going to bury that ditto? There's plenty of dirt all around and he had to do that on the grass. It's probably marking territory, although he is burying it. Hopefully it was just pee and not poop. It is 8.20 p.m. and Hydrox was by the back door so I just gave him some food. And I went outside and I looked for Ditto and I did not see Ditto anywhere. And there's Ditto right now so I'm gonna put some more food out for Ditto. I just wish these cats would like hang out together so it would just be more convenient for me to put all the food out at the same time. It's 8 a.m. That's cat litter on the green mat. And there's a litter box in this uh, black cabinet. I've been wondering why there's so much cat litter on this mat. Sim has been playing with it. Simba, what are you doing? What are you doing? You okay? You feel okay? Here's Splash. So today the garbage trucks pick up garbage and the recycling trucks pick up recycling. So the cats get a little bit anxious when they hear all the truck noises outside. Here's Boo, he's hanging out on top of the cat tower.
Hello, Stella. You're a pretty girl. I'm pretty. There are now three cats on the bed and one cat in the cat tower.
it is 6 26 p.m and i just opened the back door because i really want to go for a bike ride but there's hydrox and ditto so i'm going to give them some food now So Hydrox is now using this watermelon mat as a scratching post. That's fine. Um, we saw Ditto just doing like a lot of coughing and stuff. And that is normally a symptom of a lot of mucus in his system. Whenever you have any kind of respiratory tract infection, anytime you're coughing, sneezing, uh, stuff like that, that is all lymphatic congestion. It's lymphatic congestion in the respiratory tract, in the sinuses, um, basically in the entire lymphatic system. Um, and that is brought about by diet. Uh, it's brought about by what you eat, what you drink, um, and also lifestyle, how much stress you're, you're in, um, what you're breathing, um, what you're putting on your skin topically. So for a cat, it's normally what they're eating, what they're drinking, and what they're breathing. Also, lifestyle if they are stressed out. Now again, uh, Ditto lives outside. I don't know what he's eating. I don't know what other people are feeding him. Um, there's all kinds of cat food on the market with cheese in it. You want to give your cat a respiratory tract infection. You want to give him sinus problems. You want to give him like ear infections. Give him cheese. Uh, it's like the worst thing. So... All I could do for Ditto is, you know, give him the healthiest food I can and put some herbs in there to try to help get rid of that congestion. I was just brushing Ditto. I was brushing his back and he was really enjoying it, but then I tried to brush the back of his head and it freaked him out. So, then I just went inside to get the camera. And um, I give them both food. I give them food that they like, but they're not eating. I don't know if they're gonna wait till I go inside. Ditto. Wanna be brushed? Want to be brushed? I can brush you. You like it on your back? See, what he was doing was he was raising his back to meet the brush. Okay, you gonna eat? I'll try one more time. Okay. Here, come here. Come here. Ditto. Your name is Ditto. Come here, Ditto. When I brush your back, I'll brush your back. I know, you're very happy. I know you like me. He's been stretching and he's been rolling. And when you see a cat rolling like that, when you see a cat stretching, it means they like you. Let's see. He just, he just needs to get used to how it feels. You're okay. You, you liked it before. The problem is, might be that I'm using the new camera, which is much bigger because I also have it on a little tripod. There we go. There we go, Ditto. Like it? I think he's getting annoyed with it. Yeah. But not too annoyed with it. His tail is in the air. Here. Run it. So he hasn't run away totally. Okay. Okay. That's food from breakfast. No one no one finished it. His tail is still in the air. He's still here. He's rolling around, so it will take him a while to get used to it. But just today, he's made really good progress. 
Can you eat some food, please? Ten. I brush some ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Brushed them fifteen times, not counting the ones before. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. See, that was a little bit better. He still freaked out, but he didn't like run like he did last time. Okay. Okay, little baby. Okay, ooh, nice. Nice, ditto. Okay, I don't want to freak him out too much, so. Hydrax has been watching. Hydrax, you gonna let me brush you? Brush Hydrax? Let me brush Hydrax. No. Good boy, Ditto. Good boy. Now eat your food. Eat your food, Ditto. Are you gonna... Okay. Alright. That's good. It's good progress for a day. I don't wanna... I don't wanna freak him out too much. Okay, Ditto. Okay. You're a nice boy, Ditto. You're a nice boy. Hello. Hello. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.